I just, I, I, when I was younger, I had really, really thick curly hair, and and I, my nickname in high school was Curls, literally. <laughs> and so, um, wow. I, 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 I think a big part of my identity is having like all this hair, and so, so shaving it, it, it stripped me of that. You got to kill yourself. I got I to had kill never myself. Ever thought of that? He's right. Yeah. I, oh my God. I totally got to kill myself. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the movie podcast. My name is Daniel and joining alongside me today, I do call him my Blackberry. It's Shabazz. Hey Shabazz, how are you? So close. You were so close to being canceled right there, buddy. So no, close. It's a sweet, like, cause you're sweet and you're like just such a, a, a I want to... Spread me on jam. Oh, no. Spread yeah, me on I toast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted now. A lot, lot, of, yeah. lot of feelings are going through me at the moment. <laughs> oh, God. Shay, how are you doing? You know, I'm doing great, especially after that. I mean, I feel a little, uh, you know, I'm blushing right now if you can't see it, uh, but definitely doing great. Yeah, how about you? I'm doing so great. You know, these are interviews that uh, we've been looking forward uh, a long time to share them with everyone watching and listening today. So, Let's just get to it. Let's introduce who is on the show today. Joining us from the film Blackberry, which, side note, is a film that we absolutely adored. Go check out our review of it. We loved it. Joining us today on the movie podcast is director and star Matt Johnson, Jay Baruchel, and Glenn Howerton. What a lineup. You know, it's it's so funny. I was at a wedding yesterday, and I was talking to my friend there. And uh, one of my one of my fondest memories that I've, I've had, with my friend, is when we were really really young. We would we used to watch Popular Mechanics for kids because she had a huge crush on Jay Baruchel. Who and doesn't? Who who doesn't? So I I don't I don't mind you know, you know Alicia Cuthbert for me obviously growing up, and watching that show and then finally getting the chance to talk to Jay I think was such a a crazy moment. But of course I think Daniel for you and I we we there's first of all there's three people in this interview that are blowing our minds individually and then collectively together. Yeah. Like we mentioned, it's just, I, I don't even know how we got through it. Like that was one of the few interviews that we've gone into where we're just kind of like, dude, what happened? Like, were we, were we in <laughs> there? You, what did we talk to them about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was very surreal. Like, and we get, um, you know, we're, we get, you know, we get the jitters, we get like the excitement, but we really ride off those waves. And I think when you're going into a room filled with people that you absolutely just adore, it's, it's, it's such a surreal thing. Thank you to our friends at Elevation Pictures for making it happen for us. Uh, go support Blackberry in theaters on May 12th. It is the best film of the year so far. You will love it. You will laugh. You'll have such a great time with it. And you'll also just feel nostalgic because Blackberries make me feel nostalgic. It reminds me of, you know, the days before. You know, the days of the days of yore, you know, of, of back then. So it's it's a, mm, it's a really is an incredible film. Yeah, it really is an incredible film. Go watch it. Go support it. But this is the movie podcast. You can catch a brand new episodes of our show all throughout the week. And you can see, you know, reviews and all the latest movies and series. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter and on TikTok. We have some incredible videos and, you know, tweets going out that you don't want to miss. If you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on with the show, those are the best places to follow us. Make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let us know. Did you have a BlackBerry? Do you remember your BlackBerry uh, pin? Let us know. Like, we want to know what it was so we can never message you on it because we don't have Blackberries anymore. Um, but also, join our Discord. We're having some great conversations in there. Um, and make sure you check out all of the incredible interviews that we've been dropping. The Scream directors and writers, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. There's so much to listen to. You're already in the best spots. Stay here. Watch some incredible movies with us. Listen to what we think of them. Let's get some reviews out there and interviews. There's a lot happening on the movie podcast. You don't want to miss any of it. I do want to also say, go check out our BlackBerry review. We have a great time in that. We also have an ad for someone that we love working with, with Mubi. Get 30 days free. We're going to put the show notes below where you could use our link. Get 30 days free of incredible cinema. You don't want to miss it. That's a great opportunity. There's some great movies on there. But without further ado, Shay, let's get right into it. Oh my Please God. welcome to the movie podcast, Matt Johnson, Jay Baruchel, and Glenn Howerton. 
Matt, Jake, Len, thank you so much for sharing your time with us thank today you. on the no, movie please. podcast. Likewise. This is our favorite movie this year. Oh, awesome. Hands down. We absolutely adore thank it. Thank you. Yeah, we were such huge fans of all yours, like individually. So collectively, this is kind of blowing our minds. Oh, cool. You know, thank and you. that was by design because I was thinking, oh my God, like if I could work with anybody mm-hmm. on this film, it would be these guys. Because I, 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 I felt the same way that you did. Like I was such a huge fan of both of them. And I thought, oh man, imagine just being in the same room as these guys getting to work on something. <laughs> and then you willed it. And it happened. And it, yeah, yeah it was, I, I got very lucky. Well, no, you wrote an amazing script is what happened. That <laughs> was good luck. You know, that I mean, was good luck. Sadly, as actors, you, you don't get set, sent a lot of like incredible scripts. Yeah, sent so. a lot of fucking garbage fires. Yeah, <laughs> truly. truly yeah. And, yeah, and they want you to come on board to fix it. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. Well, you guys did all an incredible job in this, and, and and truly, like like I don't think there's been a Wednesday that's gone by that we haven't watched the We Shop Channel video. Thank you so oh, much. Um, yeah, yeah, like that's like <laughs> iconic every single week. Yeah, it's it, very. That's good. gonna haunt yeah. me till I die. <laughs> it's I think. very good. Probably. Yeah, yeah it, it really. Well. The internet is forever, and you know, yeah. obviously, popular mechanics for kids, and yeah. then until now. Yep. Yeah, amazing. no shirts of that one yet, unfortunately. No. But, uh, yeah, you'll 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 we'll next time. Yeah, and then Glenn, we're diehard Sunny fans. Like oh, thank you. we literally landed in the UK on Sunday, and you guys were doing your show, and we were just heartbroken that we couldn't be there. Oh no. Yeah, we were doing, we had some other a junket going on. But oh, we that would have been so there. cool. I know. We're if you guys good. have been there and then also here, that would have been amazing. Yeah, it would have been mind blowing. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh wow, yeah, cool. Yeah. But Matt, we got to ask you, you know, Blackberry, Canadian story. Yes, yes. What attracted you to it and how did you balance a serious tone but also your signature comedy? You know, I, I get asked about tone a lot with, with my work and my opinion on tone, and these guys will know this from set, is that I do not try to make anything funny. I leave that to Kurt, my editor, to figure out what actually was funny. I never have a plan when we're shooting to be like, okay, and this scene's gonna be really funny. And I'm never telling these guys, okay guys, we need to make this funny. It always happens after the fact. So I think life is funny and I think people are funny and to deny that is to deny reality. And so I'm never trying to balance tone or be like, okay, now it's gonna get serious and now it's gonna get dark. All my films, this same feedback is brought up, but it is not done consciously. It's that I am trying to shoot what I think is real and then in the edit, I try to manipulate it as, as, uh, as footage. Because because then you have much more control. It's it's not done consciously. It felt like there was always like a purpose with your shirts in the movie. They always try to drive yeah. the narrative forward. What was what was that behind? What was the idea behind that? So early on, I thought, okay, here I've got a great opportunity to play a guy who is so obsessed with culture that he can literally wear it on his sleeve. And I thought, okay, mm-hmm. because Doug doesn't really have a huge narrative presence in the film. He doesn't have much control. But I thought I could signal to the audience what I thought was in some ways generating the excitement for technologists to build things like the BlackBerry. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's so obsessed with ID software. I'm kind of playing a version of John Carmack. Um, He was my big reference point. I'm trying to dress like John Carmack um, because I think that there is a one-to-one relationship between sci-fi specifically and technologists. And so I was trying to honor that. And that's that's why the shirts are what they are. Mm -hmm. You know, Glenn, Waterloo has never sounded cooler than when you said this is where the vampires hang out. What was it like to you know, be shooting in Canada? Did you watch a lot of hockey? And like, also, thank you so much for pronouncing Toronto correctly. So. <laughs> no second T in that. You're very welcome. And uh, I've I've been, I've known a lot of Canadians, and they've set me straight on on all these things. I, I was very confused by how Waterloo was pronounced. I still I still have to like consciously go Waterloo, like because because we don't we would say Waterloo in, oh, in the United States. So, true. Yeah. Uh, and I say Waterloo at one point in the film. I'm very proud of my pronunciation of that as well. But, uh, thank you. Oh, that. How did you like the the haircut as well too. I loved it. It helped me so much. Uh, it, it, it was a total. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I've got a great story about this. To see and that's every the th- morning you shave his fucking head. And I remember I mean, asking him one time, he's like, "Is that is this is this heavy?" He's like, "You know what's weird? I fucking kind of like it." I liked it. <laughs> I, mean, I, went, I saw him in his trailer. He's looking in the mirror, and I, he's not really talking to me as he often would. He just talks to himself. And I'm watching. And I'm like, Glenn, what do you think? And he said. I look better like this. <laughs> I got, I really did. You know what it is? I, I think in, in, in retrospect, I think really what it was, what, it, it stripped me of my own identity, which I did not realize oh my how God, much of my yeah. own identity was wrapped up in the in the, in, in my hair. Right here in the middle. I just, I, I when I was younger, I had really, really thick curly hair and, and I, my nickname in high school was Curls, literally. 
And so, um, wow. I, 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 I think a big part of my identity is having like all this hair. And so, so shaving it, it, it stripped me of that. You got to kill yourself. I got I to had kill never myself. Ever thought of that? He's right. Yeah. I, oh my God! I totally got to kill myself, and 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 it, and it suddenly it was very liberating. I felt liberated. I felt liberated from. It's almost like I didn't want it anymore. I was like, now I can just be a a a, 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 a grown yeah, man with a body. Right. Like it just and it put me. Now in. it's just my brain and my emotions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It also just you know it makes you more aerodynamic, and it, it you know. <laughs> Turned me into a mess. Going so fast in the movie, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah lots of fast walking. <laughs> obviously, lots of practice with Untethered Rage on Always Sunny. We got to see a lot of that in this movie too, which is great. Yeah, not hard for me to tap into that for some reason. <laughs> uh, Jay, you know, uh, Mike tells Jim that you know, good enough is the enemy of humanity. Do you believe that, or was there anything in his kind of ideology that you kind of related with? Oh, certainly. Just, just the. Um, uh, Try, try as I might, I, I can't make my heart super cynical. Like, I'm still, I still am like, uh, I, I still kind of, there's a, there's a sort of inherent naivete. The fact that I'm even aware of it makes it not, I suppose, that naive. But I just like, I still uh, want to make movies uh, because it's like fun and it's like cops and robbers. And I still want to make people feel what I felt watching movies. So like my connection to movies it still kind of feels exactly the same as when I was a kid. And mm -hmm. I purposely tried to keep that. I've fought to keep that because, uh, you know, when you when you make them for a living, uh, there's a million ways that it becomes uh, not uh, r romantic and not fun and not oh, yeah. magical. Yeah. And so I fight to preserve a sort of magic. And that comes from, and, and, and there is, I think, an inherent elitism in that because it says that there's an us and a them. And the us keeps it magical and takes it serious and does it pure out of the heart. And the them are just trying to make a product and so i i think that like that's one kind of big uh, connection i have to mike is that for him there's a clear us and a them but it comes from a very pure good place of wanting to improve the world right and not and, and that he works from his heart and makes something special that are, is going to help people and everyone else makes crap right and and there's an inherent elitism even if it's born out of a sort of innocence and a naivete so i think that that's something i have in common with them i love that that's amazing cool. Matt, any chances that we're going to get any more Canadian invention films, like maybe Zipper the movie or Insulin the musical? Maybe? I was, yeah, yeah, I know about Insulin. Yeah. Uh, no, I will never touch another product film for the, the Hawaiian pizza story. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's up for debate. That's controversial. Yeah, and some people will say that that, that wasn't Canadian. But no, but I will continue to make movies in Canada about Canada. I, I can't imagine that changing. Um, <laughs> But uh, no, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another invention. All I want to do is product-based cinema. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. I'll have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I leave. Yeah. Let's get a photo wall together before yeah, you guys go, because I think I think that would be that, that would be. be we got to go fast. We got to do it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I'm serious. They're going to throw you out soon. Okay. And welcome back, Shay. I need your immediate thoughts post that interview. Immediate thoughts. Immediate uh, thoughts. Shock, just absolute joy and wonderment. Um, th these are three three legends, three people that we were so hopeful to one day talk to, and um, my God, it happened so quickly. It, it it's also, I think, such a long interview that at a certain point, like I, I love at the end where they're like, "Hey guys." They're gonna snipe you out of here. Like we need to like get take out. a picture <laughs> and, and and go because we're having a blast. And it's funny because we got to reconnect with uh, these individuals at an after party, and they were just like, "Yeah, you guys were awesome. Like we love talking to you guys." And it was just such a great feeling because these are people that we look up to, man. Like Glenn Howerton for Always Sunny. That that's a show that Daniel, you and I watch religiously. We're quoting it constantly. So for someone to not only meet our expectations of who they are individually as a person, but just to kind of surpass that, I think it's just phenomenal. And of course, Jay and Matt as well, the nicest people, just super like, I, I love, you know, just how they represent Canada. They absolutely continue to love represent Canada, representing Canada. And uh, that, that's what I just, I just had a great time with them. I absolutely love it. It was, it was such a fun time. Again, we had about, we just had under about 10 minutes with them. And, you know, I know we did good when Matt asked to take a picture with us afterwards. I'm like, we we did good here. And, um, <laughs> yeah, just, just hearing their thoughts on this film. Again, you already know how much we love this movie. Um, 
to really hear why Matt wanted to make this movie, you know, what Glenn kind of went through, even just physically shaving his head, you know, getting into that mindset. And then Jay as well, too. Like, there's there's some really great moments in this interview. This is one of my favorite interviews that we've done just because it was so fun. So please go check out our review. Go check out all of the incredible videos that Shay made uh, this week for BlackBerry on our socials. There's going to be lots coming out. You don't want to miss any of it. And keep following the movie podcast. Like I said, that you're in the best spot. If you love movies, if you love TV, if you love video games, the movie podcast is the best spot. It is the spot for you. There is always a seat open here at our table. Join in. Join the conversation on Discord. Like and subscribe on YouTube. And like we always say, a like goes a long way. So if you see us on socials, on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, Give us a like. Leave us a comment. We love engaging with you. We want to keep doing this for you. And it's because of your love and support. That's how we've gotten here today. We want to keep doing it for you. So please support. Go support BlackBerry on May 12th. And thank you again to Matt, to Jay, to Glenn, to Elevation Pictures for their time. That was this time with the movie podcast. And we'll see you next.